if you want to do the most secure install you can with pip from a requirements lock file, you need to tell it to only use binaries, which means only use wheels. You have to tell it to not install any dependencies. It can only use what's listed in the file, and thus you've checked to know exactly what's going to get installed. And then you also need to say you require hashes, and that you check those hashes on the files that you downloaded. All okay. those things are optional and turned off by default. So it's one of these things where there's a lot of extra steps to try to do the nice secure thing, right? which I would argue should be the default thing. And I'm not, this is no shade to either tool, right? Like they have a lot of historical reasons for why they have the defaults the way they have them. Right. But for me, it's well, like, okay, can we do a standard for lock files that captures everything that people want for? And then also on top of it, makes it more secure by default. Right. The security thing is the thing that has been a conversation definitely since I started Python. You got a, a variety of potentially problematic things happening in the world there. And you want to make yeah. sure that what you are installing is, you know, what's on there. 